Hello folks. Hey, this is our assignment for week um, January 26. This is going to have um, beginning and intermediate. There's several classes and there are different levels. And you'll get th this email to you. Um, Tuesday's class, beginners, 415 to 515. Their page is in their book, in this book. Uh, the Perfect Start, our page is 10. Um, through 15. Now 15 is a little zealous, so they might not be get that far, but at least have them do 10 and 11. You know, and have them look ahead, start asking questions. The second class is going to be doing pages 16 to 21. That's the class that's held on Tuesdays from 5.30-6.30, and those are older students. And then Wednesday, our beginning class, they're going to be doing pages 10 as much as they can, 10 through 15. They might get stuck there, but I'm going to go through a little bit of that uh, today. The other Wednesday class is in a different book and they're doing pages 16 through 23. They're on unit 3. Um, and they're doing, each are trying to, these, this advanced class is trying to do a unit a week. Extra credit, they're going to try to write a song using middle C and D, and this is for the beginning classes. The song this week that we'll be courting is Rock Around the Clock. Just a quick review. Those, those students that are beginners are going to be saying the music alphabet forwards and especially backwards. And you can play games with them like say what letter comes before D. And of course they can't see this, so you just cover that. What letter comes before D? What comes before A? And the music alphabet goes A through G, so the letter that comes through A is, before A is G. Okay. Fingers, thumbs are ones, so just remember that your thumbs are your ones. So the fingering's written on the song and it, for the left hand. Um, you can say, touch your fingers together, touch threes together. So here's our thumbs, twos, threes, touch your threes together, touch your twos together, touch your fives together. Okay, so that they know their finger numbers quickly. And um, they're going to be exercising their fingers and the Everyone's at different levels, so in exercising your fingers, they're going to uh, put their hand on cat C, and they're going to be, their hand is rounded somewhat, and they're going to play one key at a time. As they play this next key, they pick up this finger that's down. Pick it up, pick it up, and this takes patience, and a lot of times little kids, this is very hard for them to go slow, because they see people going fast, and they want to go fast too. But that's how they do it. And they play that until they can do it without looking down. Now some children might just do this all week long. If their fingers aren't developed yet, it takes time. So if they would do that 10 times a day, if you could get 10 out of them, wonderful. Five, wonderful. Once they can do that without looking, they shift up one key and they do it again. Picking up fingers, okay? And etc. shift. Shift. My hand's a little distorted here because of the camera. Here it is. Okay, and etc. They can go all the way up the keyboard. Left hand can start. Here's middle C. And it's about the middle of my keyboard, so I'm going to go down one C to this cat C. Here's the doghouse. Put my pinky on it, which is finger five. And they're going to go up slowly. So they're going to pick up their pinky, pick up the ring finger, pick up. So one finger is, one key is down at a time. They do this until they can do it without looking. And then they shift and they go up. Okay? And if they can't do this very well, just stand in this position and pick it up. This is the hardest two fingers. Pick them up slowly. Pretty soon, in, in a week's time, you're going to see big improvement. Okay, so that's that. Then hands together. This is the next level. If they can't play hands alone, very well. Don't put hands together yet because that's going to cause frustration. But if they can, the upper levels can. They're trying to put, right? They can play this and um, lift their fingers up. Shift. They're, they're doing that without looking. And we'll be giving, I'll be giving them a new exercise on that. Okay. Um, the upper level are doing major, major five finger patterns. Etc. 
Okay, and they should be able to do those every day without looking. Uh, that's the goal. Okay, now we're going to work on um, looking at the book for a moment. So we're starting to read. Beginning classes are starting to read. So they're starting at the beginning. They've learned. They're starting. They're learning that their ABCs in music are written by notes. They learn middle C is this one with the line through it. It's below the first these five lines, and it and then they they've learned that notes are found on lines and what we call spaces. So spaces are found between the lines or, or space notes. So here's C and this is D. We'll talk more about that. But over here, the song is all about those two different notes. So you want them to be able to name these notes. D, C, D, C, C, D, C. They need to identify the difference between D and C. If you notice, some of the notes are black, some of them are just a circle. So the black ones are held for one pulse, and the, the circle is held for four pulses. So, for example, this is my metronome turned on, and they know what pulse is. Those represent pulses, those sounds. I'm going to be here on D. Let's see if I can see, still see this. I think it's hidden, so I'm going to just put it right here. So I'm going to play D, C. This is a little fast for beginners. It goes slower, but this is the pulse thing. Quarter, 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 hold that whole note. So that's how that's how long they hold. The circle is for four pulses. Okay, so the beginners are doing that page. They're doing this page. We introduced the half note. This one receives two pulses. So these black ones all receive one pulse, and these are held down for two pulses. So you can have them identify is it a half note or a quarter note? Is it a half note dot, which will get three pulses? So that's if the students can go on. The beginning students, if they do first couple pages, that's great. The little kids that come on Tuesday afternoon at 4:15. Okay, so now um, there's this is called a quarter rest. So it's just like a quarter note, but you uh, rest for a pulse. So they would play that like this. so they want to go slower at first till they can recognize those notes okay that was unit part of unit one and then um, let's see the older kids are doing on Tuesday this second class on Tuesday are doing the class that comes on at 530 are doing pages 16 through 21 so we're moving they've learned an E so they need to be able to identify that this is C, D, E. E is on the first line of the five. These are five lines, and that's E. So they show the names of the keys here, but then over here, it's time for them to really get fast at recognizing these. C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E, E, D, D, D. They're not gonna get that fast at first, but you want them to be able to recognize those notes. Okay, so that th these songs just go over and over in different order of those notes being played. And so that's, that and so they when they see them stacked like this that means they're played together like the bottom note is C and E of uh, the top is E so you play it like this okay so that's great that so that's unit two for them and they there they can review unit one and then we have um, the other the older students are in a different book and their assignment is to do unit they're on unit four this week. So they should do all of unit four. They have expanded their notes to be a lot more. And so you can see that it's important the beginners learn their notes because they're gonna be adding a lot of notes. We're in C position here. And the students, they get this. They understand these are rests. So here we have the introduction of ties. And because these notes are the same, they hold it down. So three plus three is six. We hold that one down. Let's just see how we're doing. I don't think there's any other surprises in here. So they can just go through this and they need to be able to do it at 75 with the metronome. The ticket's at 75. They're now starting to see, their eyes are going from left to right, 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 right, left. So they need to be able to shift. Here, we have the whole notes being held down and they're being playing the same time as the first note. 
So that's a little um, trickier for the eye coordination in hand. So their eye should sweep up, da da ba up, da ba ba up, da da da. Okay, so that's a little trickier. That one you probably want to work on more. And then here we have some hands together. So this is getting harder. So they can look at these um, intervals and call them fifths, fourths, thirds, seconds. They can play that five, four, three, two. If you notice the top notes stay in the same, then they move. Okay, that's it on that. Um, and they're going to work on up to unit five. They can always go on if they want. It's very good practice to go on, but they need to know up, up through unit five. They're going to have fun on that. Okay, our new song for this week is Rock Around the Clock. And it's, it's a fun one. So it's in C position, which is really easy. The, all the students can play the white keys. So this is considered C position. It's all of the white keys of the piano, so it would look like the following. So that's C position. So this song says they're supposed to put finger five down on C. C. C dash 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 C dash 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 C dash finger two on F. So F is froggy F right here. And so I want you to be able to see the music. So two, two, five. We have a little surprise in here. One, one, five. And next week I'll work on the, with this on the beginners. And it's going to be one, three, one on A, A flat, G. So they're doing that. The advanced class is playing the chords. Shift to F. C. Thumb. Shift to G. Shift back to C. One, three, one. And then they wait for C. And I taught them the C7 chord. They can go up and down the keyboard. Okay, we're going to hear that song. I'll try to put it on loud, and then we're going to play right along with it. So here we go. Go to C. C, 5, 5, 2 on F. and have a lot of fun this week.